TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget we are as partner with Respect My Blueprint. We did do the group roundtable over there, man. We got, um, you know, the usual suspects. We just be over there talking, man. It'll be a good time, man. Uh, links down in the description. Remember, all my videos are gone off this YouTube channel because of, you know, if you don't know, there's a video on it on my page. Go look it up. Uh, but this is where they are located, if you are wondering. This link is down in the description as well. Um, let's get into this, man. This is Gravitia, Gravitas, Gravitas. The UK is no more a great place to live. That's a bold statement, ain't it? It's my educational Tuesdays, man. Just gotta make this a day. Educational Tuesday. I don't know if it's gonna be Tuesdays, man, because I'm going back to documentary. Was it documentary Monday? Or was it documentary Tuesday? We gotta do documentaries on Mondays. Cause I'm either picking my daughter up or I'm dropping my daughter off and I like so it's like I don't have her that day. So we're gonna do documentary Mondays and educational Tuesdays. I like how that rolls off the tongue. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this, man. I started the show by telling you about the crying prince, the prince who cried wolf. Time and again, we have questioned the monarchy in England and how it's fooling the British people. But before I end the show tonight, I have some more bad news for those living in England. The UK is set to be on course to be one of the saddest places to live. Stay with me and I'll tell you why. But I'll have to rewind. This is one of the saddest places to live. It, I don't know. If, who is this lady? Like, she might. Does she, is this a show in England? I mean, in the UK? Or is she outside of the UK looking in? It wouldn't make sense that she's outside looking in. She's got to be inside. A bit. This is a report from nearly a decade ago. It describes the United Kingdom as one of the best places to live and work. Its quality of life, education, sense of community, environment, healthcare services, all these made it a paradise for most. I'm not saying this. The organization for economic cooperation and <laughs> the Guardian. development, or the OECD, said it. For years, the British have been perceived as excellent in communication, language, at times over polite and discreet, friendly. Clean air and water was... That's a fact. Perceived by the world is that as well. ...was everywhere. Earlier, surveys showed... ...it's friendly. Clean air and water was everywhere. Earlier, surveys showed that the British had faith in their public institutions, in their democracy, a fondness for their monarchy. Oh, yeah. People were content, satisfied. Not no more. <laughs> All this was... Three prime ministers in, in six months will let you know that the trust is dwindling. <laughs> it's recorded in surveys, but from decades ago. All in all, England was loved by tourists and immigrants for its happy, peace-loving environment. Cut to 2023. Take a look at these scenes. <laughs> Can y'all see the bottom ticker? <laughs> this is where it really be at. Where they really be get, talking crazy on this bottom ticker down here. Let me get the best editor on the platform. There we go. Go back. England was loved by tourists and immigrants for its happy, peace-loving environment. Cut to 2023. Take a look at these scenes. Okay. Divorce to hit 50 year high in the UK. What is this supposed to mean? Like people leaving or something? There is anger on the streets of London. There is frustration. There is acrimony. 
It's a season of strikes in England. So much so, there's a strike calendar in the UK. <laughs> no way. Nurses, ambulance drivers. No way. There's a strike calendar? Like, okay, this is a serious subject. I'm sorry for smiling. I just be smiling. A strike calendar is crazy because there's a festival calendar in Chicago. Festival calendar, carnival in Chicago calendar. There's a there's a food truck calendar in Chicago. Nothing like nothing like this though. A strike calendar? That's crazy. You got so many strikes where you got a <laughs> you got a designated calendar. That's tough. Bus drivers, highway workers, teachers, the border force, university staff, royal mail workers, they're all going on strikes. They're demanding more pay. They're sick of the cost of living crisis, which has yeah. crippled the economy. We just talked about that. Remember, these services form the backbone of any country. They ensure smooth functioning during calm and chaos. Imagine if there is an emergency, a medical emergency, a natural disaster, an accident. What happens then? It's a scary thought. This cost of living crisis is creating friction not just between the government and trade unions, but also between couples. Take a look at this headline now. Mm. Divorce rates in the UK are said to hit a high. Yeah, money, money, money. It's crazy how they say money, money don't make you happy. But my, not having money make you dis unhappy, so having it got to make you happy. You know? I, don't, I don't believe that money don't make you happy, man. Money makes you happy. Money makes things smooth. Money gives you confidence. Like <laughs> Money does something for you. I don't want to say I would do anything for money, because all money is not good money. But money earned the proper way. It does something for your mental. And I don't care what nobody say, man. We can debate it in the comments if y'all want to. Because it's Educational Tuesday, and I'm down for a debate. Debate Team 101. At me, gangy. At me. At the lit one in the comments if we want to debate about this. Divorce rates in the United Kingdom are set to hit a 50-year high. British couples are... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. This is not funny. Till death do us part. But do y'all see the picture that they used? <laughs> Sorry. All right. My bad. My bad. This is serious. Okay. Are unhappy. In fact, this is the most unhappy they've ever been since records even began. Skyrocketing inflation has turned bedroom banter to raging arguments. They're unhappy. Who is this lady? She is at the top of her game. Bedroom banter into arguments. This is W reporting. Turn bedroom banter to raging arguments. They're unhappy because of the cost of happiness. It has gone up. Told you. Money Living make, standards money do have it. taken a dive. Romantic night outs are too expensive. PwC or Price Waterhouse Cooper says that real wages in Britain will return to levels last seen in 2006, and that's this year. The Great Britain. You know why, man? You know. Okay, my bad. I'm pausing, but places, big cities in the in the in the United States, big cities. We've come to. We've come to. We've come to. We've come to a realization that no matter what level of job you have. No matter what level of job, no matter how, how much you've made it in your mind, you got to have some type of side hustle. Now, I'm not saying nothing illegal. I'm saying you can have a legit side hustle that gets you money. Like in America, sports betting is legal. Sports betting, side hustle. Uh, you can be a registered tax agent on the side and do people's taxes. You can be, you can, you can, you can custom make benches or something. Just some type of side hustle to get money in your pockets. We've come to realize that and we've made it like a thing. Like it's a natural thing to us. You know what I'm saying? British dream is crashing and with that so are house prices. Add higher taxes to the heap of troubles 
and you'll find we just talk there's about this. plenty of bitterness in the air. It's pushing more couples to call it quits. You think I'm exaggerating? Did you I know actually do not think you're exaggerating because you haven't. Your facial expression, ma'am, has not changed one time. So, no, I don't think you're exaggerating. More couples to call it quits. You think I'm exaggerating? Did you know the first working Monday in January is dubbed as Divorce Day? Mm. So, I. Wait, what? In January is dubbed. Think I'm exaggerating? Did you know the first working Monday in January is dubbed as Divorce Day? The first working Monday in January is dubbed Divorce Day? So while Prince Harry is crying wolf, attacking the royal family, holding tear-jerking interviews, chatting with ghosts of the past, the British have bigger fish to fry. They're seeing essential services collapse around them, right? She can't stand Prince Harry. In the middle of flu season, winter illnesses. They're seeing acrimony between trade unions and their government. And not to forget, they've seen a revolving door of prime ministers. They're fighting over budgets in bedrooms, putting their dreams and hopes on the back burner as they battle soaring costs. Remember a time when the British monarchy was once a symbol of stability in turbulent times? Hey, Megan. I ask you tonight, where is the stability? A crying prince is calling out the royal family. He's washing his dirty laundry in public, and we're all feasting on gossip. What? Wait, so what's going on? Wait, what's going on with Prince? All right, I'm going to look it up. He got an interview, but going to react to it. Not to forget, a new king is set to be coronated. And while the royal rift has got tongues wagging, what about the rift on the streets of London? The unhappiness taking root in British life. No book release will resolve that. Uh, uh, um. We on what? This is, she's one of the best reporters I ever heard. This straight face, man, that's crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm still, I would still move there. With my side hustle mentality, I'm gonna make it. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post, I'm gone. Legit side hustle. 